In this episode, Josh goes home. It's a very Hi, sad day hello. today because we're losing. We're losing. We're losing. I can't think. Of, oh, yeah, we're losing guy. Josh. That guy. That guy. You know. So <laughs> Mike and Rob go home. Very soon. And we break the boat. That is the bottom of our rudder. The first job on arrival in Fiji was to clear customs. We sent a team in to fill out forms. On their return, the chain of command was tested. Tell me, Mike. Whose responsibility was it to tie on the kayak? Well, I saw Rob with the rope. Yeah, it looks much And I assumed that makes an ass out of you and me. <laughs> yeah. So I might have to own this one. No, no, I'm going to own it because I, I did actually say, Mike, could you just tie that? But I didn't say it very loudly. Okay. Because there is the kayak. So look, we've got our best crew on retrieving. Look at them go. There they go. I did get them out of paddle, but. <laughs> Obviously they don't need a paddle. That's oh, good timber actually. Yeah, not bad form. Luckily it was spotted before it got too far away. Oh, it's a shame actually. It would have been good for them to do more exercise. Oh, that's so there you go. Lesson. Always check that you have tied your dinghy that's on before leaving it. So Declan is bringing it, the uh, dinghy back and Ben's bringing back the kayak. In the evening we were visited by biosecurity. They didn't wish to be filmed, but gave us a clean bill of health. Ivan was up bright and early to hone his fishing skills. That's a big one. Third plastic bag today. Third plastic bag? Yeah. How far out? And I'm no hook doing it. I'm good. Soon, Mike joined in. Bag retrieval operation. Here's another crack at a plastic bag. Oh, that's a long way away. Gee, that's pretty close, Mike. Got the bag. Got the bag. That is brilliant. Wow. It's a catch um, I can actually feel okay about. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> now we go after the fish. Now, now the fish. Now we go. Now have the fish. But it wasn't just fish and plastic in the oceans here. Far out, they gave me a fright. And I almost stepped on him. Woo! Sea snake. Whoa. He's about to leave. He's off into there the deep. He goes. Wow. So, so tell us what happened, Declan. I was casting from over here, and I couldn't like swing it back far enough because the pole and stuff was getting. So yeah. I stepped over here, and I just happened to look down, and then there's a snake curled up, sitting there, <laughs> like, like that far away from my foot. <laughs> really? It's scary. Wow. <laughs> the most poisonous, venomous snake in the world, apparently. Yeah, but it's got a tiny bit. Um, about an inch from your feet. Uh -huh. He's back. He's found a home. He likes it here. Yeah. Oh, he's off. He's had enough. Oh, no. oh, no, he's, oh he's going to try and come up here. Ooh. This is one brave snake. He's trying to invade our boat. Oh yeah, he's definitely trying to get up by it. There's a small mouth though, eh? You can see how they yeah, struggle yeah. to get hold of you. Yeah. He's off again. And we were off again too, from Latoka down the coast to Vunda Marina to wait for our cruising license. Ominously, we rafted up beside a boat called Foxy Lady. So we rafted up alongside the monohull named Foxy Lady. We took it as a sign that Kerry was watching over us. We then hitched a ride back into Latoka, Josh, Mike and Rob to let customs know they were leaving again, and me and Mum to shop at the market. Come to the market, and there's so much to see. Beautiful vegetables everywhere.
Where are we off to? What happened to our lovely bus ride, Ben? Who knows? Who knows? Yeah, we noticed that the bus went past our turning. So we had to get off the bus, which told us it was going to the marina, but it wasn't going to the marina. We are now walking the last about three kilometers, I think, back to Wunda Marina. But it's a lovely day. Finn is thrilled to be walking the last 3k in the sunshine with me. Is that a shortcut? It's a very sad day today because we're losing. We're losing. We're losing. I can't think. Oh, yeah, we're losing Josh. That guy. That guy. You know. He's going home. How good you, Josh? Don't leave us, Josh. Apparently, he's got a life outside of this boat. It's hard to believe, eh? It is hard to believe. So, Josh. Can't be much. What will you take with you from this trip? Oh, fond memories. Um. Yep. Fond memories and. What did I say earlier? Formative experience. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. That means he's still young enough to. <laughs> yeah. <turn away>. <laughs> <laughs> well, you've been worth your weight in gold. Thank you. Thank you for having me. <laughs> Thank you for being had. <laughs> A lovely touch at the marina is their farewell song to guests departing for overseas ports. So they're doing a farewell to Josh, but they've actually got the wrong boat. Just a bit embarrassed to tell them that that's not Josh. Josh is over here. This is our cruising license. This is the hum of the engine that is sitting in water but no longer taking on water. This is where we plan to go, boom. This is Declan wearing his school hat and bringing up the fenders. Multitasking. And this is our anchor caught in the coral. So uh, we have hooked here at this, in the lee of this island, um, but they've told us we can't anchor here. Oh, it's freezing. <laughs> it's freezing, you see. <laughs> oh, it's cold. Yeah. Yeah. It's a, it's a major. So we've got to get unhooked on the bombing. Great. Charles has kindly offered to help free dive to get the anchor off the bommy. So Charles is ready to rock and roll, bro. Yes. You're very kind. I'm more than happy to help. How long can you hold your breath underwater? Three minutes. Wow. That's a long time. Yeah. And the, oh yeah okay well, well you, you guys left to maneuver me over that yeah. but i'll need someone up on deck with me so yeah. how's that bro oh, good, thanks mate was it wedged in pretty tight eh it was pretty tight eh? yeah all thanks. good now thanks bro Please come back, can you? Yeah, don't worry, you'll see me back. Oh, okay. Okay, guys, safe trip. Thanks, Thank bro. Thank you very much. Yeah. Appreciate All it. Good. We sailed on to Malamala Island and picked up a mooring buoy just as the sun was setting. Rob, salute to the sun this morning. <laughs> You're an inspiration, Rob. Oh, I'm a fixable. Rubber band. <laughs> Keep telling yourself that. Waking up next to a tropical island at last was lovely and great to share with Mike who is flying home with Rob tomorrow. <laughs> Just act natural people. Just pretend like there's no camera. What's that? The camera's not here. <laughs> just be natural. Just be natural. <laughs> yeah, that's it. <laughs>
Oh, hi guys, I'm here. All good things must come to an end. We sailed back to Funda Marina. Last night with Mike. So we're going out for something to eat. The last supper here in Funda Marina. A little celebration. What was your highlight, other than buying us dinner, of the, your trip? Highlights, um, gosh, so many. It was such a random adventure for me just to down tools and at short notice to come and sail the Big Blue. It was challenging at times, especially with that storm, but um, amazing. And I think to, I mean, the, the, the ocean is so vast, and we sailed for 11 days and never saw another vessel or another person. So was, I mean, that's pretty amazing. Um, and to be up in the islands, I mean, it's just great. But I think that one of the, the highlights for me is to have had time with your family. Oh, and for me, there's God. been wonderful learnings in that. Oh, and good, learnings I'll take home and um, apply in my life. Oh, so, wow. Yeah, it's been deep. a great privilege to actually come and just be part of your family for the last two and a half weeks. It really has. Oh, yeah. that's great. The sailing's almost a bonus. Yeah. It's been amazing. Checks in the post. Yeah. <laughs> Checks in the post. It was departure day for Rob and Mike. We were sitting on the marina's central mooring buoy. Before Rob left, we thought it would be best if we manoeuvred the boat against the marina wall. We had riggers coming the next day to fix the furling Genoa, and they would need easy access to the boat. Worst idea ever. There's the boat. We'll be manoeuvred by Ben. Look at this. Such precision. Been a great job. Well done, Captain Finn. It's got to be one of the best things I've ever done. Amazing. Yeah. Very yeah. soon, people. Thank you for being a part of your family. Mm. And all the good things that are with it. Thank you. Yeah, you you're good on you, sir. Good boy. Mm. And, and home, Sunny Jim, wow. son, come to me. Come, to Father. Yeah. Come on, you know you want your hugs and kisses. Mm. Come on. Yeah. See ya. Rob had been gone a few hours when we noticed that the boat was sitting at an unusual angle. We have a bit of a situation um, in that uh, it's been very windy all day and we have someone masked up beside us. That's pushed us up against the wall at the marina and now we are sitting on our rudders. Our neighbours here, they are going to move. Finn's going to go with them and help them to get on the uh, mooring buoy that we were on this morning. No, no, come and go. Oh, come on. Okay. So, because it's just uh, the hole, so you can piece there and uh, take it. No, look at that. That looks terrible. Looks like we're nose diving into the water. We're above our water line at the front. You can close the sea box, right? Yep. This is so dodgy. That is the situation. That's our rudder there. That's our prop out of the water. And it's still two hours to low tide. This is unbelievable. That is part of our rudder floating in the water there. 
We just crash back into the water and so we're no longer balanced on the rudder, but it is obviously damaged. So this has just popped up and was floating on the top of the water by the boat. That's the bottom of the rudder. And I'm no expert at these things, but I'm thinking I'm right in saying that it's not an ideal situation to be able to hold this in my hand. In fact, I think it's pretty far from my deal. A check under the waterline confirmed what we already knew. We would need another haul out for repair. Just what the family of five heading out to stay with us wanted to hear. Next time on the Cruising Kiwis. We are joined by the Atkins family from New Zealand. We swim with mantas. And everyone goes off dragging when they see the catch of the day. Oh, a shark got it! Shark! Oh!